Hi, this is Pam from The Truth. What a mess today. My hair. Lord have mercy. Okay, that's a little bit better. So, where have I been? Where have I been? I have not been on here because there's not much going on with the stimulus package. And I'm not going to come on here and lie to you. It's just to have a show. And so here I am. Today, there's still not much to talk about. But I did want to talk. What do I do on here? So I come on here and I talk about the stimulus package. I do that because I want people to improve their lives and have the information to improve their lives. Like give them information on grants and um, loans that they may need for their business or um, helping someone right now get a first time home buyers grant for $17,000. There's so many grants out there in every state that can help people improve their lives and they don't know about it. So that's one of the reasons why I do this show. I also, I, I make ways, I go on these other sites and I just ask questions and I get blocked off them. So I asked, <laughs> morning invest. Yes, I'm calling you out. I He was doing a segment and in that he was talking about being poor and not having money and knowing what it's like. And I don't, all I said is, have you ever been in a predicament or a life situation where you made $15,000 a year and thought that was good and thought you won the lottery because I, I've been there. I, I don't think he has. So I don't know how he can speak from a place of destitute if he's never been there. I don't think a lot of people can. Um, but I, I was just asking a question, so he, he blocked me. Uh, but I don't think he knew it was me. He'll find out sooner or later, I think. But anyway, so I come on here to talk to people from the heart, from where I've been. You know, I've been poor. I've been in a position where I made millions, to be honest, and lost millions. So I've, I've been all over the spectrum on that, you know, from uh, not having a paycheck at all at times. Um, and then from being rich and, and loving it. But... I will say this, and something my mom was always proud about, I never changed who I was. I never got conceited. I never acted like I was better. I still felt like I was that kid in my hometown. The inside of me never changed. And I just always wanted to be there for people and help people. That never changes. So today I would like to share something with you that I was I was going through the videos to see what people are putting out there about the stimulus and of course about RVs because we're in the process of uh, purchasing our RV and it, I didn't realize it would be this hard. Um, but I was watching a video about manifesting your own life and it made me think of uh, racism. It This is where my mind goes. So it made me think of racism and how people can be um, so put down that they believe the lies, but you don't, this is the part that gets me, you don't have to be black to be, to have no vision. You know, I mean, just people that have been through the ringer, just people that have been uh, poor, people that have had difficulties in their life, just one after another, they can get you to a point where you feel like that, where, where things are never going to get better. But if you envision, like that's where my mom, she, she created a, a monster with me. Because she really made me believe that I could do anything I want. Anything. And sometimes I get, I get all them problems pushing down on me. And it's like, I start hearing her and I just push away. I just push away and things just start coming together for me and I remember who I am and that we do with the grace of God we have the power to do anything and be anyone we could you know you want to be a movie star you want to be a rock singer if you have the talent you can you can do it you know I, I don't think you should encourage people that can't sing to get out there and put themselves out there and you know get booed off um, but I believe we can all we all have this is one thing I believe. We all have a special gift that God has given us. And I tell my kids this. I have, uh, my kids range from uh, seven years old up to 33 years old. And I've always told every one of them that 
we all have a special gift. Don't let it go dormant and don't abuse it. Make sure you use it to the best of your ability and find your passion, your passion and your God's given gift. They will unite and you will be this amazing person in no matter what you choose to do. And you just have to remember that. The first couple of videos I did, I had trouble. I couldn't speak to the camera. And I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm so confident though. I, I can do anything. And here I am, I'm intimidated by speaking to the camera. And I started acting like one of the other people that I know created a character for himself to be able to talk about the stimulus. And I started catching myself acting like him. And I said, what am I doing? I've got to be myself. I know if I choose to be myself, I'll shine through. My gift will shine through. And sooner or later, he's will love me. we That's what it is. We're all put here to really care about each other and love each other, help each other, give each other information. And we will bloom into something gorgeous. I think it cut off. Well, I think it did.